Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review of Manor Black, Fire and Blood, number one. This is a new book from Dark Horse Comics. Um, I wish I could have done this review a little bit earlier, but it's hard to get a hold of Dark Horse books. Uh, I didn't get a chance to go to the store, so I just finally ended up getting it digitally. Uh, so this book is created by the amazing team uh, that we, we've seen before, the Six Gun in Harrow County. Colin Bunn, Brian Hart, uh, Tyler Cook. So each one of them uh, on different duties. So this is written by Colin Bunn and Brian Hart with line art by Brian Hart, uh, colors and lettering by Tyler Cook. So uh, if you're not familiar with this book, actually, before we get into that, this team has been doing some really amazing stuff. Like the Six Gun, Harrow County, like they they really work very well as a just... As a, as a combo, I would say, um, if you guys have kept up with the channel, you know that I really like Colin Bunn books. Um, I think he's really good at writing villains, horror stuff, like all that kind of stuff. And I think Brian Hurt's art, as you can see in the cover, and you'll see a little bit later on, is pretty amazing. Uh, so I'm glad that they've reunited here uh, a little bit here. Um, so they're powerful and ancient blood sorcerer Roman Black has taken a young fire mage under his wing after she has done the impossible, taken her magic house's totem spirit inside of herself. But the totem is powerful and may be impossible to control, especially when Roman's children begin to see the young mage as a threat. Uh, so yeah, there's there's multiple themes going on in this book. Uh, you know, there's family and inheritance, and but there's also this power of being taken in. And also, what are the, inte what are the intentions of Roman Black? Uh, so let's take a look at a few art pages, and we'll get more into the book as we talk about that. Um, so I love this, this starting here, like this this uh, visual of an hourglass filled with blood, while the siblings talk about you know the legacy of Roman Black. Um, and then in the next few pages, we see Roman uh, pretty much you know teaching. This young mage Ari, how how to wield this totem of their house. Uh, so to get a little bit of background story, that what the team does is, it's something I really enjoy in comics. Uh, they go in a more of a whitewash, grayscale coloring here, uh, as we learn a little bit about uh, Roman's backstory and his family, and you know when he came back from the war, going back home. Uh, so it's definitely something. Like I said, I, I think the team is very good at. Uh, making sure that in a first issue we are introduced to everything that we need to while understanding different timelines and things like that. Uh, the color distinction definitely helps. Um, but then we get to this page here, and I love the use of that, um, the the single color of the, of the blood, just the red, to evoke that, you know, bring us back to that emotion from the beginning of the book. Uh, but also to prove that this book, a lot of it has to do with family. Um, as as he does this, as Roman's dad does this to prove that he is his son, um, and, you know, with, with some magic spell or something. Uh, so I'm definitely very interested in figuring out what other mysteries are going to happen. I really like the way the fire magic is um, is portrayed in the book. I didn't, I didn't really show a lot of... Uh, uh, preview art from that, uh, but there's way more in in the you know in the latter pages of the book. I don't want to go too much into spoilers, but I think if you like, um, I would say this is is definitely a, a suspense um, thriller. And then, like I said, I, I think it'll delve a little bit more into horror as we go into the the next few page or the next few issues. Um, but yeah, this was a very interesting read. Uh, I'm glad I finally got to check it out because, uh, like I said, I've been wanting. To, it was on my pull list, but because of the winter storm, uh, wasn't able to go get it. So I finally decided to just check it out digitally, uh, and I can't wait to get the shop pick this up. Um, like I said, this team uh, just they work very well together. They do a lot of amazing stuff. So go check this out. Go check out their previous work, all all that stuff. Uh, but if you pick this up, let us know what uh, what you thought about it in the in the comments. Uh, and thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. 
uh we have made it to 500 subs so we appreciate that but if you're watching this and you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button because we have more comic reviews tv recaps movie reviews trailer reactions all that stuff in the channel so thanks for watching everyone bye, -bye.